Our next guest is an award-winning journalist you've seen as the co-host of Access Hollywood. She has interviewed the biggest stars and covered many red carpets, including the Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Emmys, and Grammys, just to name a few. She's hosting the Discovery Plus series, 90 Days Bears All, and she's here to give us a little behind-the-scenes scoop of the successful 90 Day Fiancé franchise. I'd like to welcome TV personality, author, producer, philanthropist, and girls' empowerment activist, Sean Robinson, to Sidewalks Entertainment. Sean, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Veronica. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, before we get into 90 Days Bears All series, we'd love to go behind the scenes with you and your career. Can you share how you found your calling into journalism and maybe who are some of your inspirations? Yes, so uh, that's a, that's a, that question is apropos for today because um, <laughs> of, of what is happening. Um, with oh. uh, a friend of mine who is about to be inaugurated as the uh, vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Oh. Uh, I was talking about the how what is so important about that day is that little girls will see themselves and know that no matter what, where they come from, they can bash the glass ceiling. So how I got into journalism is when I was a young girl, I used to come home, uh, I was at my grandmother's house and I was watching TV and there was an African-American woman named Beverly Payne, who was the only black woman that I saw on TV, the only person who looked like me. And so she was my first role model, the first person that guided me towards a career yeah. in journalism. And so um, that's why it is so important for girls to see themselves in positions that they had no idea that they could achieve. So um, yes, and so that's how I, I became a journalist. That was like the, one of the first steps into my career to becoming a journalist, being able to see somebody who looked like me being in that position. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh my God, I love this story. It's really important to see yourself represented and I'm a Latina, so it's always inspiring to see our people represented in a higher position. Yes. You've interviewed many celebrities in your career and prior to the celebrity interviews um, um, and before maybe Access Hollywood, what types of stories or interviews did you do? Yeah, so I was a general assignment reporter and anchor. So I did the, you know, I did what is called that local news beat. Um, you know, I was out there in the trenches doing, you know, the 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 the, the stories, whether it was what's happening in the city or, or the government, uh, you know, crime, um, what whatever the story was of that day. Then I became a medical reporter, so I did health stories. And then you know, wow. report an anchor, absolutely yes, in several different markets. And then I went into entertainment. So I had that news background. I then went into entertainment, interviewing you know A-list celebrities, and now doing 90 Day Bears All and doing the 90 Day franchise. Uh, it's such a different type of interview for me because these are you know everyday people who found love overseas. And so the drama that comes with their relationship has been, uh, you know, really uh, interesting and exciting to watch. Um, this, this franchise, as you know, is seen in 168 countries and territories. So we have a worldwide audience. And this new show that I'm doing, Bears All, it's, uh, it's different because we have a lot of spinoffs, but it's different because we don't have the same rules and regulations that we do on TV. So they could say anything, they can do anything, <laughs> know anything. And yep, we don't have the same rules. So it's been really fun, really fun to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, you know, here at Sidewalks, we've had the opportunity to interview um, Armando and Kenneth and the Silva twins. But for you, having gone behind the scenes with some of the couples in 90 Days Bears All, has there been a couple or couples that made your heart melt or maybe made your mouth drop? Well, <laughs> there are a lot that make my mouth drop. Um, the, and, and in terms of the couples that I like, listen, all of the couples have drama, all of them. I do have some of my 
favorite couples. I never like to give it away because, you know, there's so many that I'm connected to. And I've got people ask me all the time, who's your favorite person? Who, you know, do you not like? And I would never tell that. Um, but, you know, there are one of the... Um, interviews I did on 90 Day Bears All was with David and Annie. And remember at first people weren't like really fond of David, but now he and Annie are like fan favorites and they are really fun. So they come on the show. We talked to them about their relationship. Um, I talked to Mr. Brandon about um, <laughs> what happened with him and his fiance Julia in the car that night when they were trying to get busy in the car and I guess forgot there were cameras in the car like what was up with that <laughs> uh we talked to Reek and Dean the brothers that were huge fan favorites on Pillow Talk uh and then all of a sudden they disappeared and nobody knew why they disappeared well come to find out they had a huge falling out and they had not spoken in a year and a half we bring them together for the first time in a year and a half so they can hash out what was going on in their relationship so there are a lot of things we're going to be doing um, we have some performances from some of your favorite 90 day cast members. Big Ed is going to be playing the piano. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's, so it's, a, it's a lot of fun and I know the viewers are loving it. <laughs> yeah. Lots of drama, a lot going on. Uh, but switching gears, speaking of a lot going on before we go, I wanted to touch on your other passion with girls empowerment. Can you share a little bit about why you started your foundation for girls? Yeah, so it's called the Sean Foundation for Girls. I started it about, God, going on five years ago. And, you know, my, my parents always taught me if God gives you a platform, use it to give back. And that's what I've done. Uh, so the Sean Foundation for Girls empower underserved and underrepresented girls. And uh, it's important because so many girls are struggling today. And, um, you know, I tell the story about my friend Kamala Harris because it's important for girls to see themselves in position and know that they can achieve what they put their mind to. But, you know, at, at the root, they do need help. You know, we need help to get them to a level playing field so they can pursue their dreams. So that's why I started yeah. Foundation for Girls. It's all about empowering uh, girls, underserved yeah. and underrepresented girls, and, you know, doing what we can to lift them up and making sure they succeed. Wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. Well, Sean, I wanted to ask if you could go back to when you were a young girl, what advice would you tell your younger self? Uh, what advice I would tell my, my younger self uh, is that um, don't worry so much. You got this. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's what I would say. I think that, you know, a lot of times we were, oh, am I going to be able to do, you know, am I going to be able to do it? Am I going to be able to achieve, you know, just hard, you know, Put your heart and soul into it um, and, and know that you've got people cheering you on. That's what I would tell my younger self. That's awesome. And you definitely got this, Sean. And we are cheering you on and watching all your projects. Um, okay, so before we let you go again, we have a fan question. Uh, is there someone you haven't interviewed that you would just love to interview? <laughs> I, you know, I've interviewed, gosh, so many people. I've interviewed so many people. I, I guess I would interview, um, I think I, I literally, think I've interviewed everybody. I really do. I think I've interviewed everybody. Uh, and I, you know, I, it, and it's a, it's a, it's an easy question, but it is such a hard question <laughs> There's because so many. I, I, yeah, there are just like so many, I, you know, um, I, sometimes I get to the point where I want to ask people, what the heck were you thinking? Yeah. As opposed to somebody I admire, I want to interview those people. I go, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> so, that's where I am right now. <laughs> I feel you girl. Sometimes I want to ask that too, but I'm like, I don't have enough time to ask. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Well, hopefully we get to see an interview with you talking to vice president. Kamala Harris, that's what I yes, would love to yes. see. Yes, yeah, that's a friend of mine and I'm very <laughs> excited for her. Um, I, and I wish her the best of luck. She is a true warrior and uh, we're cheering her on. Right on, Sean. Thank you so much for talking with me. This is so amazing. We love what you're up to, what you stand for. So keep doing what you're doing. We're cheering you on and uh, keep at it because as you say, you got this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.
Looking forward to having you back on Sidewalks. Much continued success. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. All right. Thanks to our guest, Sean Robinson, for that interview. Make sure to catch the series uh, 90 Days Bears All on Discovery Plus. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.